Okay, hello everybody. I will shortly introduce you to our life care opening it's our status as per today. What we mean, what when we say that it's powered with the AI. And uh, this slideshow in the beginning will be short, and that will be that will be given by me, Marco Py, and then my colleague Kalle Vuornen will continue with the demonstration. Okay, so let's dive to presentation and the demo. Shortly, our agenda is about the history and the future and our future ambition with the Open EHR, and then we will continue with the demonstration. Shortly about the history, yeah, it's well known. We have plus 40 years of health, IT development and innovation history. About 2016, we made a strategic decision to do transition from the monolithic mechasuit towards the real ecosystem, and then selected the open data model, open EHR, to be the baseline for that. Then, 18, we had first open EHR based models out to market, and 19, we continued to track and, for example, started to implement common solution across healthcare and welfare based on the open ESR. And now, 2021, 20, we are continuing with the completely open ER, open ESR based clinical journal. That's where we are at the moment. Yeah, in the journey, we have implemented multiple modules and we have done quite a lot on, based on the open ESR on top of the better platform. And in short demonstration, what we are having for you today, we will look for the orientation dashboard views and the observations module. And how do we look for the future? We aim that uh, powered by AI, it is not a bold statement anymore or dream. We have started a journey with speech recognition with the structured open ESR data already released to market and in use by our customers, then why yes for this approach going step by step. Started with the speech recognition and continuing with those algorithms combined with the lake, data lakes by uh, doing and combining the unstructured so-called legacy data and data sources with the open EHR and future sources. But uh, let's deep dive the demonstration and let's take some questions later on. Thank you. Thank you, Marco. My name is Kalle Vuorinen and I'm here to present you the life care solution really briefly. Life care is a role-based his. So what it means is that uh, it configures the system based on users, organization, care unit and role. Here I've logged in as a demo person to, and my role is general practice doctor and uh, the GP is the unit. So here you can see what you can see this kind of a dashboard here is a, it's a set of different widgets that offer you the best things, uh, the best and fastest way to, to do your work. So this is a conf configurable thing. What we do together with the customers to best suit the needs of them. So here, as an example, we have previous patients, which we have some prescription related orders. If I had created any, like what you would call the CPOE, and then we have the messages here from, from lab, uh, pathology, my own notes, or even other messages between the colleagues. Obviously, what we could also hear here is, uh, is the calendar widgets where you can see um, the future appointments, etc., and also the past. Okay, but the idea is that we create these together with the customers and select the widgets from, from a library that we have. Then uh, let's select a patient. I actually have it pre-selected. You might have noticed from the from the left top side. So we have a patient called Sharon Evans, uh, 69 year old. There are some other information as well. But yet again, now that we have a patient selected, we navigate to the patient workspace, in where we have different uh, widgets set once again. So 
these are now based on that what you need to do the actual treatment. So these are all patient specific information here. We have the diagnosis, we have the risks, we have the medication, we could even have some journal stuff here and even, even more. But the idea is here that you get the best possible orientation uh, with the quality data and as fast as possible so that you can have that what, what's ongoing, what's going on with the patient. Then if it's really necessary, you can here dig deeper to data. You can click the medication to go through that. You can go and click the diagnosis, go through the diagnosis more, more specifically. So you are able to dig deeper here if needed. But the idea is that you have the easiest and fastest way to orientate to the patient without going through the trouble of finding the data because the data is brought to you and based on your role. Okay, but let's then jump to the OpenHR side of this demonstration and open the observations module. And um, what observations here is that it's, it's a module where we can follow up the patient's vitals, how do they evolve between the treatments and different medications that we might order or prescribe. Uh, we can see the different, like if you just look at the application here, we have a graphical presentation here on the top where we have different graphs. This is configurable with what kind of values we want to follow up here, or if we want to do some other things, or even uh, the measurements, uh, what we have here in the below in the table format, that's also configurable. We can do some configuration under here. Um, what we can then do is that we can see the data uh, in different time spans. We can check the week, month, year, 24 hour cycles, or even the defaults, which we have actually at three months. Then we have even some custom time span that if you really want to dig deeper into some certain week in the history, you want to see that what has happened. Um, then what else we have? We have the fluids where we can do some fluid balance checking and so on. And even the medication, what we can see that what has been given to the patient, the, the green ones here, are actually that what has been like administrated uh, to the system so we know that these are something that we have actually given the patient. But all of these, the medication, uh, the measurements, uh, it can be all entered in our application itself or we can enter that through an integration, maybe some third party, party uh, mobile application even, so we can get the data into our system. But the thing about all the measurements and fluids, what you can see here, they are in open HR format. So no matter from where the data comes, if it comes through the integrations and it's entered against the open HR models, we, are a, we have the data fluidity in place. So we are able to utilize in the different applications like the observations, but we can also see the same data in our statistics, in, in the reporting, um, utilize it in the decision support and, and many more and in, in different modules as well, like the journal viewer can see the data there as well. If we look on how we can, how the user can enter the data uh, in this, in this way is that if we just click the new measurement, we can get this uh, data entry application open where we have different forms. Well, here is an, an example of the measurements form where this is kind of reflecting on what you see on the observations, but you could also enter data by utilizing like different forms, even here like news, if you want to do some news score things, etc. But the idea is that we can grow this amount of, of followable uh, measurements and vitals by creating more open nature models. And that way we can make sure that all the data as we enter the system is in really good quality. It's in open formats and we can utilize it throughout the system and then do even some alerts, machine learning, and different kind of algorithms on top of that. But basically, that's what I wanted to showcase here with the observations and with the life care. And I really hope that you have some additional questions that I can answer in the questions and answer section. Thank you.